Okay, we're being asked to integrate the cosine of the natural log of x. Let's go ahead and work it out. So if you've never done this before, the obvious thing to try is a u substitution. Let's go ahead and do that, except I'm not going to call it u, I'm going to call it w. So I'm going to set w equal to the natural log of x. And the reason I'm calling it w is because this is going to turn into an integration by parts problem. So, and in that formula you have u and dv, so I don't want to mix stuff up stuff up. So w is the natural log of x, and then so dw is 1 over x dx. You say, okay, I don't have a 1 over x in my integrand, so maybe multiply by x. So then x dw is equal to dx. And we're still in a problematic place because we have dx equals x dw, but here we don't have, uh, we don't want x, we got to get rid of it. So if you note that w is equal to the natural log of x. If you exponentiate both sides, you end up with e to the w equals x. So we can replace x with e to the w. So this is e to the w dw equals and then simply dx. Now let's go ahead and carefully make the substitution. So I'm use a different color. All right, so our original integral, which I'll call i, so i is equal to, let's see, we have the integral from, let's see, dx is e to the w dw. So it's e to the w, and then cosine of w dw. And this is what I like, like to call a looper. Uh, these are the ones where you have to use parts two times. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll pick our u, and I'm going to pick u to be the trig function. And then dv is what's left over. So dv will be e to the w dw. Then du, well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So we get negative sine w dw. And then when we integrate dv, we get v equals e to the w. So we did our first integration by parts. So then i is equal to, let's see, uv, so e to the w, cosine w, minus the integral of v du. But I said minus, and we already have a minus, so it's plus, right? And then again, we have e to the w, sine w, dw. I love w's. <laughs> All right, now we have to use parts again. And since we picked the trig function as our u the first time we use parts, we have to pick the trig function again. So it's really, really important. If you pick the exponential, continue to pick the exponential to be your u. If you pick the trig function, continue to pick the trig function to be your u. If you don't, it goes on in a psychotic loop and uh, you'll get stuck. So let's let u equal the sine of w. And then so dv is going to be e to the w dw. And then du is cosine w dw. And so v is equal to e to the w. So rewriting the whole thing, we have i equals e to the w cosine w plus, and now we'll use integration by parts. So uv, so e to the w sine w e to the w sine w and then minus v du so v du so the integral of e to the w cosine w dw this is what we started with so this is i so writing this again we have i equals e to the w cosine w plus e to the w sine w minus i. And now we'll simply add i to both sides. So adding i to both sides, so plus i, plus i, these cancel, and so we get 2i equals e to the w cosine w plus e to the w sine w. And then we'll divide everything by 2, so i is equal to I'll put the one half outside, and then we have e to the w, but what was w? w, at the beginning of the problem, was the natural log of x, I believe. Let's go back up and check, just to be 100% positive, it is. It's right up here. w was the natural log of x. 
So we end up with e to the natural log of x, and then we get cosine of the natural log of x plus e to the natural log of x sine natural log of x, and then we have our constant. And it looks like we can actually do something else. Wow, I hadn't done this problem uh, before making this. So i is equal to 1 half, and then e to the natural log of x, that's just x. Nice, and this is the cosine of the natural log of x plus, and then here again we get x. Wow, that worked out really nicely. Sine natural log of x, and then we have the plus c on the outside. Pretty cool answer. So kind of a, a neat problem. I hope that made sense.